this little perfect handle screwdriver had seen better days. I think its last job was as a paint stirrer for somebody who really got into their work. I let it soak in Easy Strip overnight. It looked like the Easy Strip did the job. Here's the screwdriver after a rinse in water. I found that it had Germany stamped on it. The wood scales were in sorry shape. It took some doing, but I got the pins out and the scales off. Just about every perfect handle screwdriver I find has a bend, and this one was no exception. Usually I'm able to straighten them out with some Magdad muscle. I was able to get it reasonably straight. I used a ball peen hammer to knock some of the metal on the end back into place. Here's the end after I had worked it over for a while. I started off with an aggressive 40 grit belt in my 1x30 sander. Here's the screwdriver after the 40 grit belt. Unfortunately, I was not able to save the Germany marking. I continued sanding with a 120 grit belt. I find the block of wood is handy for stabilizing the belt while working above it on the rounded sections. I was able to get the tip of the screwdriver shaped pretty nicely. I decided that the end and these two curves were going to need some hand sanding. After touching up those couple spots by hand, I went back to my 1x30 and refined the finish with my red label conditioning belts. The coarse brown belt did a nice job blending all my sanding marks. The medium red belt gives a nice matte finish, very similar to what I get with the fiber wheel. And the blue belt gives a really nice near mirror finish. I've used these red label conditioning belts enough now to recommend them as worth the money. I decided to try something different for the scales. I drilled several holes through the center section and scuffed it up with a diamond bit in my Dremel. Then I thoroughly cleaned it with acetone. I've used this JB Weld Quickwood on a few projects to fill holes in wood handles.
This time it was going to be the wood handles. Now Chuck thought this was a crazy idea. I told him that he might be right. I might be crazy. But sometimes you just got to go for it and try something new. I ended up using most of the stick of quickwood. I probably put on way too much, but I didn't want to have to add more later. I let it sit for a couple of days just to make sure it was cured all the way through. I used 60 grit sandpaper to start with. It didn't take too long to sand one side to rough shape. Here's the handle after sanding with 120 grit. And here it is sanded down to 320 and ready for finish. Okay, let me take you back to what this perfect handle screwdriver looked like when I started. So what do you think? Keep in mind this is a resto mod, not a historically correct restoration. That's why I wasn't too broke up about losing the German marking on the shaft. I finished the handle with Minwax Poly Shades Bombay Mahogany. It was really tricky to apply evenly to the smooth surface of the quickwood, and I did end up with some streaks. I had fun trying something different. Experimenting with new materials and techniques keeps the hobby interesting for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Of course Chuck and I polished the metal with flits.